Oh, welcome back aboard North Star of Herschel Island. Uh, we're just standing on the dock and you can see the nice shot of her bow from here. When the ship was uh, first being planned uh, by Fred Carpenter and uh, Jim Wilkie up in the Arctic, they went to uh, Peterson of Patterson and the Canalaska Company and they ordered the ship and uh, Peterson went down to his favorite uh, Arctic shipbuilder down in San Francisco. This was the Nice Boatyard. It had been started by George Washington Nice and then at that point it was being run by his son. And they began construction of this massive ship. It was going to be the largest private vessel ever taken up into the Arctic. And this was the height of the Depression. So they were able to hire back the best ship rights that they could find. Uh, who would come in and they used the, obviously the best materials. This was uh, going to be actually the swan songs to be the last ship that uh, Peterson was going to take up to the Arctic and it was going to the two top trappers so there was a bit of status involved as well. So they constructed this ship, a uh, massive uh, you know three and a half inch uh, quarter sawn edge grain fir planks and they put them on oak frames uh, that were measure uh, three and a half inches square uh, every foot. They strengthened the bow for ice. They put on a second layer for ice sheathing uh, called iron bark that you can uh, see on the side of the ship. Then they had to load the ship up aboard Patterson. Now this is pretty easy down in San Francisco because they had cranes and they could lift the ship up and they could get her secured. Uh, though she did take up quite a bit of deck space once they got her up there and we actually have pictures of some of the crew who would just on their off watch spend time fishing from off of North Star because she was taking up so much room we're just trying to catch a nap. Of course once they got up into the Arctic and they got to Herschel Island for launching there's no dock and there's no crane so in order to launch the ship uh, Peterson had to put a big list onto Patterson so he shifted all of the ballast to the starboard side and just to try and get the ship heeled over or leaned right over and then they fired up the steam donkey winch and they put straps around North Star to lift her up. And he put his son, uh, Ted Jr., Ted Peterson Jr., on the winch and they very, very slowly lifted North Star up. Uh, now Ted had about five turns on the winch and there was just too much tension. So he had to very slowly take off one turn and then another. If the line got away from him, the ship would just have smashed down and been, been wrecked, may have even uh, done some significant damage or even in St. Patterson. So a very tense moment, but eventually with all this work, they got her launched safely into the Pauline Cove at uh, Herschel Island. And then Fred Carpenter stepped on board his new command. They filled her up with supplies and he was off to Banks Island to go and trap fur and spend the winter up there. And that's how she got up to the north.